Hey there kiddos. So unbeknownst to Brandon and I, the inspector actually did come on Wednesday. Uh, must have been after we left or while we were at lunch and he was stealthy and maybe quick. Um, an installer showed up today to fix the gigs and um, on the inspection we had three things wrong. Um, the There was apparently a brick stack under there somewhere that wasn't straight. A couple of the brick stacks were not tight. The wedges have to be tight. And, um, what? oh, the sewer pipe <coughs> under the home has to be suspended every four feet. And it wasn't. The guy who hooked up all the sewer piping uh, missed, uh, missed some hangers. So that got fixed today. On the electrical side, we passed everything except, you can see I hit my water faucet with a tractor. Duh. Fix that up tomorrow. Um, today's Saturday. Um, the only thing on the electrical was, I don't know what I was thinking. This is the ground wire goes down the hole out to the ground prongs. Apparently that was too light a gauge. It needs to be this super fat shit number four. You know, I had that cable in there, which probably would have passed, but this is the right shit, the number four thing. The other thing is cryptic. I didn't understand what they were saying. Something about, this is the weather head. Something about running the wire from the weather head. Um, I assume that Florida Power and Light would, because of the, their wires end on that pole down there, would string the new wire and put the meter in all at once. But apparently, I think what they want is they want me to get Florida Power and Light to come out, run the wire, and then with the wire all hooked up and copacetic, then they can tell Florida Power and Light come and stick the meter in and turn it on. So thankfully all my other wiring was correct and all my other wiring came out good. Um, the mighty Kubota did not get picked up today so we cheated a little bit and um, there was some touch up I wanted to do. There was a, a hole or a, a shallow spot right up by the dog kennel. Um, so I, I cut this, there was a hillock in the middle where they dumped the original pile of dirt. So it'll flow now that way, it'll flow down there, and then it'll flow there. And then up here, it'll flow down from the house to there, that way and off that way. And then of course that side of the house will drain off that way. Um, so today I did that with the little cheater on the Kubota, but we, Brandon and I made significant progress on the dog kennel. Um, we got all the T posts sunk. We got the chicken wire strung around. I bought this little bullshit um, staple gun. It's electric. Those are half inch staples. And the thing barely pushes them in. I had to hammer them the last part. I have a super groovy pneumatic framing nail gun that also does staples. So tomorrow I'm gonna bring the air compressor out and the super duper stapler. Um, we used regular old um, fencing staples and hammered them top and bottom to hold the uh, wire in place for now. Um, you can see this one's all fucked up. That was one Brandon did while I was out running around getting parts. So there, um, we have two heights of chicken or fence posts, but that's okay. The, these will get just uh, plain wire, which we were gonna continue, but I can't find my spool of plain wire. Might be at home, but basically you just cut a piece of wire and wire that to that it says thus three spots i'm not sure how flexible this is at the bottom um depending on how i go with a staple gun i may staple if, if they're good enough staples so the dogs don't try to push through but the posts are only four feet apart so they shouldn't be able to push that through um so you can see the wire sagging until we get it up on the fence posts and brandon got this one a little crooked i might have to reset this one it's leaning out too far we'll see all right that's what we're going to do for today it's about almost 2 45 we've had a long three days working long shifts till about four in the afternoon so that's going to be our little dog kennel in there and cleaned it out and up here in the corner i see i bought the materials going to build a what's it going to be four feet deep by six feet long dog kennel with a simple plywood roof 
way over there on the shed you can see sticking up there I've got a couple of sheets of I think that might be half inch or three quarter or not three quarter maybe half inch plywood and I got a bunch of one by one and one by two uh, framing material so I got I think I got everything I need to make a dog kennel that's it from Live Oak for Saturday the 23rd Brandon and I are gonna go to the county fair and derby uh, demolition derby turned out the demolition derby is part of the fair on Saturday so we didn't go to the fair last night we'll go and do both of them tonight so we'll get some video and show you what a country fair looks like out here in the boonies all right say hi brandon what's up say hi doggies Hello. b got out b got out yep where is she i don't know she took off the other way all right i'll go find her all right see y'all later